Good morning. As you guys can see, the wind is really blowing hard over here. I'm based in Somerset West. <clears throat> this wind is actually very good for the dive that we are planning today. This is a south southeasterly wind, and uh, we're planning to do a photo shoot today at the Antapolis shipwreck or in the Odokral area or wherever we can find very good visibility today. So that's on the Atlantic side, in front of the Twelve Apostles Mountains, next to Table Mountain. So this southeaster has been blowing for at least three days, and that should really clear up the Atlantic side for us very well. But today we're actually going to go over the freediving gear that I use. So I wanted to actually show you guys what I use versus what my wife uses and uh, what is crucial for beginners to have and what is maybe not necessary at first seeing as people dress themselves from the bottom up i thought let's start let's start at the bottom so these fins over here are carbon fiber now those fins over there are very good fins and they're not carbon fiber the only reason i I sold my cheaper fins and got the more expensive fins very early on like within the first two or three months because um, I've got a knee injury from a skydiving accident that I was in involved in in 2016 and I completely snapped off my patellar tendon and they had to cut me open and literally rejoin that with wire so you don't what I'm trying to say is you don't need to start out with carbon fiber fins. Fins like that will be absolutely normal for people with no knee injuries. Now on the other side, this information is very useful for people who have had total knee replacements or who have a history of weak knees in their family. It is unfortunately mostly hereditary. So yeah, you can then look at some carbon fiber fins they are a lot more flexible then and they're also very strong but very flexible so they don't put so much pressure on your knees especially when you're making smaller kicks then over here we've got socks these are just plain cheap two mil socks two millimeter socks so we're diving in the Western Cape and the Atlantic side, the water is an average of 9 to 10 degrees Celsius. And on the False Bay side, the water is an average of 15 degrees. Now you're going to get reports of warmer days, but 14, 15, maybe 16 is actually the average. So yeah, you'll see I've got my Speedo. I wear my Speedo underneath my wetsuit. And then this wetsuit is a Omer 5mm open cell wetsuit. Now the most important thing about having the correct freediving wetsuit, I would say it must be an open cell wetsuit. You can see my wife's Salvimar 5.5mm is also an open cell wetsuit. It must be a 5mm wetsuit. Now there are guys in the Western Cape diving on the false base site with three more wetsuits and I have seen people try that at the Atlantic but they don't stay in the water for very long another important thing um, so the open cell wetsuit means that it's a two-piece and you need slip on to put the wetsuit on so another another important thing about the wetsuits you'll see they are both the, both of them have hoodies that is very important that you protect your ears because of the cold water, you can, can get a condition in your ears. If your ears are exposed to cold water, too often you get a condition called surface ear. And once you get surface ear, you will probably not be able to free dive again. Over there, you will see my weight belt. Um, that's a rubber weight belt. I'm going to tell you in the moment the difference between the material weight belt and the rubber weight belt. The basically the difference is the material weight belt is much more flexible and soft and it's a lot cheaper but it's not worth it in my opinion 
we bought the material weight belt we got it for a good price we thought it was a bargain but don't buy a material weight belt always get a rubber weight belt it's worth the extra 50 or 100 bucks you'll see that i've got a lot of weight on my weight belt now the only reason for that is because i've been practicing dynamics in a 1.5 meter deep swimming pool here in the complex where i stay so today when i go free diving there will probably be only four weights those weights weigh about 600 grams each i will probably not go out with more than two and a half kilograms so this is a 5.5 mil wetsuit and that means it is very buoyant in other words if i don't have a weight belt belt on at all it will be reasonably difficult but not impossible with a good duck dive to get down to 10 meters or 20 meters okay so don't overweight yourself make sure you understand what you're doing before you're putting on weights and rather use a rubber weight belt instead of the material one my mask that i'm currently using is the salvimar mask and i had an omer mask but i lost it at clifton because i was diving with people who were not willing to help me look for my mask when it fell off of the boat and then just what's important with this snorkel over here i can put my thumb in here so that's a good way to check it it's nice and flexible and then i've got this little snorkel clip that you see over here this is just some spray that i mixed to spray inside the mask to stop it from fogging up let's go over to my wife's gear um, so she's got the SIAC motus fins I don't know if you've seen it but she's got the SIAC mask we bought that on a special the masks with the mask with the fins if you're not going to buy carbon fiber fins then these if you're going to look at buying these kind of fins then the siak motors fins are probably the next best option the reason for that is because their foot pockets are 10 times more comfortable than my foot pockets i cannot even in a swimming pool when i practice i cannot use my fins these are mare's foot pockets i cannot use my fins without socks it's impossible it will cut my feet open you can use these fins without socks that's how nice and soft and comfortable they are it's really this is hard also two two more socks just cheap shop socks somewhere from the reef store this is a very very nice wetsuit i don't know if i'm correct but i i, I understand that my wife was the first person in africa to have the Salvimar Seawalker 5.5 mil spear fishing wetsuit. So it's a lot like the Omer in the sense that it's got the padding on the chest. It's an open cell. You use Slippy to put it on. It's got the woody. These wetsuits are both extremely comfortable and very flexible. This is a medium size. Then mask and snorkel this one is a little bit harder than mine but the same principle with the thumb siak mask good masks they haven't complained about it as i said she's using the material belt but that has to be changed to the rubber belt okay um there's my towel today we're planning on doing a photo shoot in the atlantic sea by the Antapolis shipwreck or in the Oda Kral area or by Justin Caves. This is a GoPro Hero 9. That is a dive housing. I never use my GoPro without a dive housing. Um, they say it can go down to 10 meters and it doesn't need a dive housing. I'm not going to take any chances with it. I use the dive housing. The dive housing guarantees it up to 40 meters, some to 30 meters, depending on what you use. And that is the G dome um, dome that I used to get those over and under water shots. Then over here you'll see my little yoga mat that I haven't opened yet. I'm going. We use this to stand on when we get dressed and when we shower. Next to next to the beach, next to the entrance point, 
because you're always parking on a gravelly area or a sandy area and then you're trying to shower but your feet keeps getting dirty full of dust and sand so the yoga mat helps for that over here is my little car shower uh, basically it's just a little shower pump inside of the bottle you can buy them as a kit there's some information on the little shower we use next to the road uh, just to get back to the filming gear you'll see my selfie stick is very long this is actually quite long selfie stick this thing is 1.2 meters long when it's fully extended and the reason for that is because when you're making selfie freediving videos if i can put it that way then you want the camera as far away from you as possible because what you're actually trying to capture is a small image of yourself and a larger focus on what's going on behind you and around you and so on this bath i use i put it next to the shower mat once I come out of the ocean all of this gear is going to be wet my towel is going to be wet once i'm done with everything i don't want to put wet 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 suits and socks and fins and masks and gear on my car seats so i just throw it in the baby bath the most popular thing to use is the dry bag and unfortunately i don't have a dry bag yet which is why i use this little baby bath let's get to the buoy um i have packed in the short rope for today the rope that you see inside this buoy over here that we'll be diving with today is about 16 meters long when it's stretched out so the maximum depth at Antapala shipwreck is only like 13 or 15 meters maybe 16 depending on high tides low tides etc so we're not going to need more than that now when i go dive at the blue rock at the quarry called blue rock here in somerset west then obviously we pack a longer rope this is a safety lanyard we we might just use these for this today just for photos purposes but when we're doing recreational free diving shipwrecks and so on we don't use these lanyards um, this is a brand new lanyard it's never been used and you'll see there are two straps it's always important to have two straps with your lanyard and to always check your lanyard before you go diving especially your safety release mechanism the reason i've got two straps always is because most of the time when you go diving on the line you are only going to have one linear lanyard and you probably will only use one lanyard even if you pack two and when each person is wearing their own wrist strap it's very quick and easy to just change the lanyard from one person to another so you'll see inside this buoy is a tube you buy this buoy it comes with the tube just like that at the bottom of it we've got these stainless steel snap hooks very important to buy high quality snap hooks because your buoy is your life saving device and if you're compromising on your buoy it becomes a life taking device um, Maybe I'll make another video on that another day. Today I'll be taking some water in my buoy. Always take water with you. Um, you don't have to take it into the ocean if you're not planning on staying long. But I'm taking the buoy into the water today, into the ocean. So I'm going to put my water, one or two bowls of water in the buoy. This dumbbell that you see over here is a six kilogram dumbbell. I'm on, I only use that at the quarry when we're diving 20 meters, 25 meters, maybe more, depending on who I'm diving with. That is the bottom weight. Uh, you don't use this for recreational free diving. I might use it on Sunday when I'm at the quarry and I've got a longer rope and I'm diving with people with a lot of experience and that can safety me. Then you'll see I've got this little camouflage bag. Like I said, I don't have a dry bag for all this gear yet. I basically want when all my gear is still dry there's another video on my channel where I show you how to roll up the wetsuits and you can actually fit most of this gear inside one nice and big uh, torque bag um, obviously your fins won't fit in they will go on top and then the last thing I want to say is that you will notice that 
there isn't a dive computer here the only reason for that is because i have not bought a dive computer yet uh, that is next on my list so i hope you found some information out of this video you don't need all of this gear to start out with what you basically must have in the western cape to free dive in the waters that we have here you need a decent comfortable pair of fins they don't have to be carbon fiber you must have socks you must have an open cell wetsuit with a hoodie you must have a weight belt you must have a mask and snorkel and yeah that's basically it for today thank you very much for watching and if you like this kind of content i will be making a lot more please like and subscribe if you liked this content see you guys in the water cheers